Hello, Siskiyou County. I am up here, up Mill Creek, down the Scott Bar, and I am with John, which was involved on the initial attack of the McKinney fire. And uh, I'd like to give him opportunity to tell us his experience and also the prep work done as the fire backs down Mill Creek. Hi there. Um, I guess we got a call you know, when the fire started. I believe it was Friday. Our department was dispatched to Klamath River and we got to the scene. There was already several uh, Cal Fire engines there. Um, we went up to the spot of the fire and um, worked it most of the day. Um, the crews, hand crews on the ground, um, worked really hard. We were um, filling uh, trucks and uh, you know supporting them in that role. And shortly thereafter, the storm cell came through, and that was it. The downdraft came. Um, wind shear for the aircraft. They had to leave, and uh, the fire exploded, and we almost didn't make it out. It was pretty bad. Um, but we did, and uh, we got out onto the main road, 96, and up to the Klamath River Hall, and that's when the, uh, the real big response started, and that's resulted in what we have here on Mill Creek Road, which is a little divot into the fire, and there's a, uh, geographically we're set pretty well, as long as the winds do what they normally do, we're not going to uh, be burned out of here. And with all the work that these people are doing, it's, it's just unimaginably amazing. They are dedicated, they're motivated, um, they've got good attitudes, and all they want to do is help. And all I can say is thank you so much to all of you. So John, what do you have going on at your place here to help support the fire effort? This particular piece of property, it's kind of unique in this area because it's so well set up for defense. And the uh, structure protection system is pumps water right out of the creek and just dumps it all over everything. And it also has uh, hose outlets that I can use to fill the trucks up. So what we're doing here is we're supporting the personnel that are up the hill by providing water access to them at this collection point. And I can fill a 4,000 gallon truck in about 40 minutes. Have you seen a local law enforcement that is patrolling the area and keeping everything secure? Yeah, there are a lot of uh, law enforcement coming up and down the road. I know they're all over here. They're concerned about looters and uh, sightseers, looky loos. And uh, it seems like what they've been doing is they've been finding personnel that are familiar with this immediate area and moving them in to, uh, to do the patrols. Because up here, you know, with the smoke and with the unpredictability of this fire, um, anybody that's back up in here, they need to know where they are and what their egress routes are. Because it, it can get really dangerous, especially if that wind kicks up. Uh, I mean, if you haven't been through a fire, and I've been through a few, um, as a homeowner, uh, it can be terrifying. You know, you, people can panic, and the last thing you want to do is panic. You've got to remain calm. Yeah, fatalities up here, and it's just makes it just makes me so sad thinking about what so many people have lost. And I'm so blessed and lucky to have this place and to have it set up the way it is. Because even if the fire burns through here, my house isn't going anywhere. Excellent. Well, thank you for your time. And thank you for your story. Well, it's my pleasure. And be safe out there.